All right, welcome to our final week, week six, focusing on identity, psychology, and politics. In the first module, we'll introduce you to your fourth major ethical framework, virtue ethics, originally proposed by Aristotle and revived in the modern era by philosopher Elizabeth Anscombe. So this kind of ethical framework emphasizes what a good or virtuous human being is like, over which actions or rules are moral. This framework will be adopted by philosopher Christina Van Dyke to develop an ethics of meat eating that is sensitive to the different kinds of people there are. Feminist theorist Carol Adams will then argue that societies which eat meat also subordinate women and challenge us with the idea that to practice one is to endorse the other. In the second module, we'll turn to the issue of our psychology and how it influences our eating. This will introduce you to recent work in psychology that seems to show we're much less deliberate about what we eat than what we think. Cornell professor Brian Wansink's research will be key here, and this will introduce us to psychological research that's essential to our discussion later about governmental intervention. Given what we learn about the psychology of eating, we'll be led to consider whether the government should be more actively protecting consumers from powerful food corporations. This will provide a platform for a larger social debate about paternalism and the role of government. The fourth unit turns to food politics, poverty, and justice. So this presents two massive political issues, one corporate influence and the second world hunger. Marion Nessel will teach us about the ways in which powerful food corporations influence government, research, and consumers through marketing. And then a team of Cornell economists and sociologists will guide us through the hugely important but complex task of ending world hunger. So in sum, this week should give you a more complete picture of the food system and its ethical issues, starting with the individual, turning to the local governments, and ending with human society as a whole.